Hi there, it's Rob Sayer. Welcome to another video on using AutoCAD for theatre drawings. Today we're going to be looking at the basics of what AutoCAD called Auto uh, Model Space, which is the kind of place where you do your drawing, um, or really where you model your items in order to then produce drawings from them. We're going to look at a couple of things in this video. Uh, we're going to look at Model Space and we're going to look at Units. Uh, units in AutoCAD are uh, kind of quite sort of changeable in some ways. You can kind of work in any units you like, but you need to understand um, to how to set um, the sort of boundaries uh, of the uh, model itself, and you need to make sure you stay in the same units all the way through. We're also going to look at the coordinates and what's called the UCS, the Universal Coordinate System. Um, that's basically how you find your way around the space uh, say your theatre, and also how you accurately put things down in the right place. We're also going to look at set setting limits to the drawing. Uh, because uh, AutoCAD lets you draw in any units you like, um, basically if you stay uh, in the UK, we stay in millimetres mostly, so you draw, say you were going to draw in millimetres, if you were going to draw a large theatre, you may need a large area in the model um, to make your theatre. Uh, whereas if you were only going to draw a small set item, which was maybe a limit of a metre across, you wouldn't need such a large drawing space. And it, it helps to set limits on the drawing so that um, we're going to learn how to do that finally in this video. OK, so going straight on over to AutoCAD then. If you remember in the last video, we um, just got ourselves set up with our tool sets open and bits and pieces. Um, the thing to know uh, about the, uh, the, the tool set down here, which is um, the one which has got a lot of different little sort of icons on it, on the, and I've got mine on the bottom right hand side, um, there's a thing here you'll see called model. Now if you drop down that box there's other options there, there's layouts and various other things. The thing to do to start with is in order to see this blue screen with the grid on it, uh, what you would normally see in AutoCAD um, when you were drawing, you need to open this up and make sure that it does say model. If it says model, then great, because we're working in this space. Now, model space is kind of where you basically put together the reality of your CAD. So, um, either in 2D or 3D, you're making the thing for real at real size. So, you're not drawing things to scale, you're not having to do calculations, you're basically drawing it as it would be in the real world. So, this space here is the real world. The other thing you'll notice here in the middle of the screen is I have a little coordinate system here which is um, a little uh, icon in the middle of the screen which has an X in the up direction, um, X in the uh, Y in the up direction and an X in the horizontal on the left to right. Uh, that basically gives us an indication as to what we'll be using when we deal with um, universal coordinates which basically is the way that you tell a CAD program where particular points are. Um, at the moment, this little point here, this UCS icon, is actually set to a point on the drawing which is um, zero uh, millimetres up, zero millimetres down, and also zero millimetres left and right. So it's kind of the base point um, where things would uh, be uh, drawn around. At the moment, uh, this is not in relation to anything because we haven't drawn anything, but if we were to just quickly draw something, um, you can see I've just drawn a rectangle here, I've just drawn a rectangle out and that basically uh, fits in relation to this particular corner here, top left hand corner, fits in relation to a number of millimetres up on the, uh, on the y-axis and, a, and a, a number of millimetres across on the x-axis. So that's what we're looking at, we're looking at this um, coordinate system which gives us things that go up the drawing are positive y numbers, things that go down the drawing are negative y numbers, Things that go across are positive x numbers, across left to right. Things that go what we would call backwards in the Western world. Um, things that go from right to left are the negative x numbers. So that's, that's, that's going to be more important to us when we start drawing. But the point is today, we're in model space. We understand that there is this coordinate system which is sort of based on a graph style x and y axis. And the final part of this uh, particular draw, uh, video uh, is what we're going to do is we're going to set limits to this drawing. The thing is, is that we basically um, just need to be able to draw something uh, within uh, the boundaries of a certain space. We don't need the world here to be enormous. We don't need it to be a kilometre across. We just need it to be a certain size. And what you need to do in AutoCAD to do that is what's basically called setting the limits of the drawing. It's a very good practice. You can get on and draw without setting limits, but it's very good practice to set the limits. Um, 
the th the, there's ways you can do it through the menu, but what we're going to look at today is we're going to look at putting it in via the command line system. Now, you can see command line is down here, and it's a little box which you can um, actually you can type things in. So you can type things into that box there. So we're going to enter a lot of data in AutoCAD via the uh, command line over the, the over the series of the next few videos. So we're going to start that by setting the limits of the drawing. Now, when I start to type in AutoCAD, if I start to type things that uh, it recognizes, I don't have to click anywhere, I don't have to select down in the command line box or anything, I just need to be in the drawing and starting to type. So I start typing LIM for limits, and you'll see here there's some options here, different, uh, different options here. Um, when you type anything in AutoCAD, it, it starts to pick up what you're typing. So I just started typing circle, and it gave me a circle. Um, if I start typing limits again, it gives me limits. Now what I need to do, having typed limits and, and selected limits are on the, uh, the screen where it pops up near the cursor, I then, it, it's then going to tell me to do something else. But the first thing I need to do is hit enter. So if I hit enter, um, the thing now says reset model space limits, specify lower left corner. So the lower left corner, I'm going to make um, I'm going to make um, zero and zero. So exactly where this little uh, x y axis here is, I'm going to make it zero and zero. So first I need to hit zero, and then I need to hit tab to move to the next box, and then I need to hit zero again, and then I can hit enter. That gives me the first, uh, the bottom corner of the of the square of my limits, as it were. Now the upper right corner, the opposite corner of the limits is going to be everything all the way up and all the way right from my zero point. I'm just going to make this particular drawing two meters um, by two meters, quite a small drawing if I was going to draw a small piece of set or whatever. So obviously I'm going to work in millimeters, so I'm going to write, type in 2000, and then I'm going to hit tab, tab to go to the next thing, and then I'm going to hit 2000 again. So basically it's going to give me a 2000 millimeter um, limit to my drawing, so that gives me some sort of um, boundary with it with which to work. So I need to hit enter, obviously. So I've hit enter and what's happened now basically is that the limits of the drawing have been set to two meters by two meters, so it's quite a small thing. If I look, um, now if I go to the view menu on the top, uh, near, near file edit, go to the view menu and I can find zoom, I can drop down to extents and what that does is it, it go to zoom and extents and it shows me the limits of the drawing itself, the whole drawing itself. And what's happened now is that you can see that the um, the coordinate there has uh, the, but the bottom left hand coordinate, the zero zero point, disappeared to the bottom of the drawing, and then two meters up from this way um, uh, was the upper extent of the drawing. So it's quite a small drawing. Okay, so having set the limits of the drawing, um, don't worry that you can't see any particular information like rulers or anything at the moment, um, any distances or something, it doesn't matter for this particular video. But what we've done so far is that we've uh, set a limit to how big this particular um, model space, world space if you like, the, where the things are in the real world, the limits to where they actually are. Hope that's been useful and I'll see you in the next video.